And welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. So glad you're with us on this Sunday morning. We've got Rico Beard from Detroit Sports 105.1 to the right of me and the one and only Art Regner from WDFN. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing well. Good. We talked earlier about having people chime in using hashtag 7 Sports Cave. we got Red Wings talk, Tigers, so much going on right now. And uh, with that in mind, our sports producer, Mike Voss, is always going through those uh, tweets to see what people are talking about and we're going to join Mike now. Mike, what's the latest in the, the world of Twitter? What are people yeah. talking about right now? Yeah, good morning to you guys. It's the hottest debate in hockey town right now. Peter Morazic or Jimmy Howard to start game one and let's get right into it. What the people are saying using the hashtag seven sports cave on that debate. Uh, Max is going with Jimmy Howard. He says Howard gives us the best chance to win for sure. Wings and six lock it down. Freddie the pizza man in response says, but Peter Morazic has the bigger upside and flair for being great. Jimmy Howard is what he is. Jeff says, I think every Red Wings fan is hoping it's Morazic. Howard inspires no confidence in anyone, maybe among the players as well. Daniel says, it wouldn't surprise me if Detroit rides Peter Morazic into the playoffs. Play the hot hand, solid goaltending from him. And then DD simply saying, there's no way Jimmy Howard starts game one. And, it's, and one more quick this or that for you guys as we throw it back to you. The Masters, Jordan Spieth or the field? Guys? We love it. Our Mike Foss again uh, in the world of Twitter. We appreciate those people again using hashtag 7 Sports Cave to chime in, guys. But uh, it seems like the consensus might be Morozik. Yeah, it's definitely Peter Morozik. I mean, you know, he's he's like the Lions backup quarterback. He's the most to say. popular guy in town right now. Uh, you know, there, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, Rico and I, we, you know, we grew up here. We, right. we, we know how this goes. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, you know, look, Mike Babcock wants to win. That's all he's about. So I wouldn't be shocked if it's Peter Morozik. But I think, you know, you give Jimmy the, you know, you give Jimmy the chance one more with a very short leash, yeah. and then you just go to Morazek and it's Morazek's job. See, I, I, I think that's, I, I agree with what Rico said see, earlier. I, actually, I would be shocked because I, I truly do think that he's going to go with Jimmy Howard. Babcock's going to go with the experienced guy first with a quick hook. If he screws up, Morazek's going to be in. And by the way, give me the field on the Masters. Who do you like? I'll take the field. If you're going to you're, you're arm me the field, that's, that's an awful lot of pressure for a young guy to handle. On that fi on the final yeah, round, final 18. The, the I would like to see the 21 year old kid do it. I think it I, nice. I, I think but we that's all a lot would. of pressure. You yeah. saw that lead even, shrunk a little bit, even though he's from Texas and it's not really one of my favorite states. But <laughs> uh, you know, but my biggest problem and I'm going to switch it up on you right now. And I, Rico, I know you're a big tennis fan. Rafael Nadal, can he win the French Open coming up? Roland yeah. Garros? Yeah, why not? Okay, good. <laughs> David, how about you? I love it. You know what? That's my biggest fear right now is where's Rafa's head at, man? He's got to right. win. I could keep blabbing, but 